Hello and welcome back to the channel where I provide daily cricket content on interesting topics. Today's video is a continuation of yesterday's list whereby I am ranking who I believe to be the scariest fast bowlers of all time. I am looking for pace, bounce and aggression. Please feel free to check out the first video to see who slotted in between 10 to 6. So then to the top 5. This was really hard. When you actually think about it there has been so many intimidating bowlers it is harder to judge who to leave out than who to include. All that aside, let's get started. Number 5, Sean Tate. Sean Tate will go down in history as one of the fastest bowlers ever to play the game. Using a slingy action with his head almost at his knees at the point of delivery he was able to generate significant pace. What made Tate scary was not pace alone, it was also the fact that his radar could also be somewhat erratic. He would often drop short unintentionally meaning that he didn't give any tells to batsmen try and get a read on how they should handle the next 95 miles per hour thunderbolt. The great Adam Gilchrist stated openly that a Tate spell in a T20 game in 2007 was the fastest he had ever witnessed, both keeping or batting. Gilchrist highlighted that Tate was bowling downwind at Perth and only had four overs to bowl as fast as he physically could. Gilchrist summed up the situation with a phrase which warrants Tate's inclusion in this list, he said, the wild thing has been released. Number 4, Mitchell Johnson. For an English cricket fan Mitchell Johnson came out of nowhere. I mean we all knew who he was but other than being a laughing stock, mocked by our fans, no one really gave him a second thought. There is a famous Barmy Army song which goes. He bowls to the left, he bowls to the right, that Mitchell Johnson, his bowling is shite. But frankly he very much got the last laugh, demolishing the England batting over the Ashes series of 2013 to 2014. Does anyone know where it came from? He seemed to just suddenly pick up a two yards of pace and was suddenly one of the fastest, most aggressive bowlers in the world. England went into that series with high expectations having won in Australia last time out but what followed was an obliteration. It was the manner which he went about his business also which earns him a place on this list. It was a barrage of short-pitched bowling and verbal aggression which made him unstoppable, he would steam in, handle bar moustache on show and just target the body and necks of the Englishman with relentless hostility. Johnson ended up taking a massive 37 wickets in that series and a number of English batsmen were never the same again, including the previously dependable Jonathan Trott. Johnson continued his form for another year or so, giving the South Africans a taste of his aggression immediately following England. But for me in that Ashes series, Johnson was responsible for some of the scariest bowling I have ever seen. Number 3. Jeff Thompson. A man who needs little introduction in the sphere of high-speed bowling, Thompson was a menace who terrorized batsmen around the world in the 70s and early 80s. Like Tate, Thompson employed a unique action which generated searing pace through a slingy delivery stride. Thompson was deemed to be the fastest bowler of his time by nearly every batsman of that era including West Indies greats Clive Lloyd and Viv Richards. If you are troubling Viv for pace then you must be doing something right. Many batsmen also stated quite how difficult it was to face Tomo in that his action was so unique that Kiwi great Martin Crow said that you, never really see it. His tails are legendary including keepers and slip cordons standing almost at the boundary ropes and reportedly Thompson almost going for six buys reaching the rope on one bounce after bowling bounces at terrified batsmen. One anecdote he recently told on a podcast was a batsman leaving a pull of blood on the wicket only to be followed by another leaving his teeth. No matter which way you cut it, Thompson was undoubtedly one of the most scary bowlers of all time. Number 2, Shoaib Akhtar. The Rawalpindi Express is the fastest man to have ever bowled a cricket ball after being measured at 100.2 miles per hour in 2003. If I am honest he is probably my favorite fast bowler I have watched live. There was just something about Shoaib steaming in, chest puffed out about to hurl another rocket at the poor batsman which was very captivating. Like Thompson and Tate, Shoaib also utilized a slinging type action but he was more fluid to watch than the other two. Tate oddly stalled at the crease and Thompson, as quick as he was, had quite an ungainly action. Shoaib however flowed beautifully through the crease and was able to generate the speed from technique and rhythm as opposed to brute force. But speed alone doesn't get you a place on my list, Shoaib also had a nasty streak which would visibly intimidate batsmen at the crease. He regularly would come from round the wicket and almost chase batsmen with his slinging thunderbolts. He would mix in Yorker deliveries to hone in on the stumps or the batsmen's toes also to keep them guessing. The scariest spell which I saw him bowling was against New Zealand in 2002, he took six wickets for the cost of just 11 runs. 
I distinctly remember thinking it was noticeable how scared the batsmen looked and who frankly could blame them. Number 1, Malcolm Marshall. The third entry out of my top 10 to hail from the magnificent 1980s West Indies bowling attack, Malcolm Marshall went about his business in a different way to his teammates. Standing just 5 feet 11 inches he was noticeably shorter than the likes of Joel Garner but what he lacked in height he made up in speed and intensity. He had a wonderfully rhythmic sprint to the crease which was followed by a chest on, extremely fast release. When he felt inclined he could almost torture batsmen, pounding away at their chest and head relentlessly. One example of his destructive capability was when he hit England batsman Andy Lloyd in 1984 in his one and only test. Lloyd was wearing a helmet but the blow was so severe that he had to spend seven days in hospital and never recovered to play at the same standard again. Marshall also broke Mike Gatting's nose with another searing delivery. Such was Marshall's degree of fear imposed on the opposition batsman was that Ray East and David Ackfield from Essex reportedly offered to carry Marshall's bags from his car. They apparently went further and asked him to bowl full and straight implying that they would leave anything which was on the stumps to give their wicket away. If that isn't indicative of Marshall being the scariest fast bowler of all time I don't know what is. So that's it. There were a couple of notable bowlers who I just couldn't fit in my list. Probably my most notable omission was Brett Lee. Lee was undoubtedly quick but I just don't think he had the nasty streak and ill intent of the rest on my list. Wakar Yunus was hard to leave out also and I wouldn't argue with anyone who wanted to include him. In summary it has been really fun making this list and reminded me of quite how exciting it is to watch genuine fast bowling. Fire away in the comments everyone with your list, let me know who I forgot that should have been included. Thanks for watching cricket fans.